d'accord. We realize we are sinners, and we could never reach heaven by our own good deed. We want to become part of your family, and you have provided a way for us to become your child. Right now, please our faith in Jesus Christ at God's Son, who died for our sin and rose from the dead to give us eternal life. Please forgive us of our sin and help us to live it a lowly life. Thank you for accepting us and give us eternal life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Wednesday, January 31, 2024. The end of January. This is Love War. The King you open heaven. A God to close fellowship with God. In our custom, Let's see. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia is an heaven language. Alleluia song will never say so out in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is Becoming a Son of God. Part 1. Becoming a Son of God. Part 1. A memory fashion before the book of Matthew 3, verse 17. I read. And lo, a voice from heaven, say, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And lo, a voice from heaven, say, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Yesterday, I distinguished clearly between being a son of God and being a servant of God. I am quite sure that you choose to become a son of God rather than a servant. How then can you become a son of God? Being a son of God requires that you fulfill some obligation. A son is a major stakeholder in whatever the father does. He takes whatever belongs to the father as is because he is not a servant but a son. John 10 verse 12 says that a highly servant will not give his life for the sheep, but Jesus, the Son of God, gave his life for the sheep. In the same way, you must be ready to spend and be spent for the salvation of men on earth. Nothing must be too hard for you to do so that people will not perish in hell. A servant can say so, perishing and turn the other way. But not a son. A son will go out and preach the gospel to tell them until they give their life to Christ and remain steadfast in the Lord. If you are not an incorrigible soul winner, your sonship is in dogs. A son resembles his father. It is only what he sees his father do that he does. That is why 1 John 3 verse 9 says, Whosoever is born of God does not come in sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot see because he is born of God. True Son of God is sin. Don't mind those who tell you that once you have given your life to Christ, you can go ahead and commit sin. They are liars. Richard of God have the seed of God in them, and that seed make it difficult for them to sin. If they fall into sin, the seed begin to bite them, and they become very sorry for what they have done. They go back to their father like any genuine child would do, and plead for forgiveness. Nobody can keep committing sin on purpose and claiming to be a son of God. That fellow is a liar. A child does not resemble his father. He's called a pastor. A child that does not resemble his father. Is called a pastor. It was recorded that Jesus loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Hebrews 1 verse 8 to 9. If you are truly a child of God, you will be seen and love righteousness because of his seed within you. Brethren, I want us to read the book of 1 John 3 verse 8 to 9 and our Bible in one year, Leviticus 11. Verse 13. 
our him in 23. Take my life and let it be. Take my life and let it be. Our key point for today, you cannot remain in sin and claim to be a child of God. You cannot remain in sin and claim to be a child of God. No way. And I pray my Father in heaven will help you and will guide your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, this is Love War. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God, you never live your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.